important thing about the totems is that um, they made us to live in in peace and in harmony because the moment that uh, the issue of animals was introduced and different plants and associating them with different tribes i think it, it has something to do with also conservation of uh, the natural environment and taking care of our surroundings so i actually think that uh, People were actually very uh, intelligent long back. Water is a living organism. Like mm. we are, like the animals are, like the plants are. Mm. So is water. Like water is a living, conscious being, right? Mm. So just by that alone, like you know, if something is alive and is, is a living being, like it has you know, dignity. In fact, we were great when we followed the stars mm. and the spirits. That's when we built the great cities. Mm. You know, that's when we established the great civilizations. Mm. You know, and empires. Mm. You know, and and that, that that's when we were trading senders that way with the repute of even I, I don't know acknowledgement. Of, of other great nations that existed then mm. when we were in that dimension of, of, of spirituality. A car show the symbolism is really interesting. It brings good luck to you as well as it protects the spirit of the wearer. I was intrigued with my shells that they signify femininity mm. and fertility. So it's not only helping a woman conceive, but it's also for them to bring, to give birth safely. So the, these are the symbolism of these cowrie shells. That's the symbolism behind it. A woman does not give up her identity. She doesn't give her dreams. She gives up her dreams to support a man's dreams. In our culture and traditions, a woman is not a helper. A woman is a partner. Water spirits are real and they need to be given their proper, you know, respect. And I think people need to get more knowledge about them so that we don't really make assumptions or conclusions of things that we really do not know about. Mm. Yeah. And all yeah. of us yeah. are receiving the same information mm -hmm. We are all yeah. experiencing the same emotions. Yeah. There's just because there's different colors of skin, mm. there's yeah. zero relevance. You know, mm. it's like we're all here experiencing something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I think if Africa, if we are to unleash the full potential of Africa, mm. then I think it is pertinent that we also encourage the understanding of the African uh, cosmic view. You know, mm. and, and, and how it, in my view, uh, it gives impetus to, to development, mm. you know. 
because I think that could be the missing link mm. to explain, you know, uh, why Africa is lagging mm. behind other other communities, uh, or why it has been a victim of, of certain scenarios. I think, uh, by and large, you know. So yeah, um, what, let us see where it takes us. Mm. Uh, 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 that uh, spiritual um, uh, dimension. Mm. Uh, in any case, it's connected to our God. Mm. It's connected to, to God. <laughs> Well, I would, I would love to, I would love to call myself one, you know, uh, but I'm definitely affiliated with the Jews. 